Ko Holo Yahawa Ba'ashum Yahusha Ba'ashum Urka Kodash The bonds of the apostles, the bonds of the elders. A great millstone Ruel tells his truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preach this word in truth and sincerity toward the focus of earth. Tabernacle David, hopefully, like in the spark of birth, one say shalom. So, uh, today I just want to get into this uh, quick lesson inspired by uh, these two drawings that I finished up earlier in the, uh, in the week. And, um, you know, just moving through the spirit, you know, uh, especially the time period in which we're in, you know, a call lo y'all by Shemiel Shah's prophecy is moving. And he saw Edom is uh, showing his ass out here, all right? And it's clear as day that new rulership needs to be in, in power. And it will be in power because this man is a child, this man it's not meant to be a not to be is not meant to be a ruler, right? As uh, one of my brothers will quote, you know, this man will rule over ashes. Man will be proud ruling over ashes, right? And at least in our kingdom, yes, the heathens they gonna get their <laughs> hey, they gonna get whipped. They gonna get whipped into shape. But at least it's going to be a very prosperous kingdom, not only for us, but e even even you heathens, man. Y'all going to get back your lands. Y'all going to be following the law, such as commandments, and, and we're going to be cool with y'all after a thousand years. But Esau, Edom, this man is going to be taken out of power, man. This man, hey, he's going to serve hardcore slavery. He's going to be at the bottom of the bottom. And but yeah, after his slavery, he's going to be gathered together. And it's going to get burnt up. All right. And so once again, this man was set up to show us how not to move, how not to uh, uh, govern the world, man. All right. Once again, this man will rule over ashes and will be proud of it. All right. He, he wants to be like the most high. But <laughs> in the same breath, he says that the most high don't exist, man. You know, he he's unstable. He's double-minded. And at the end of the day, you know, hey, this is his life. He's going to be put into slavery, man. You know, and hey, we ready for our big brother, Yahweh Shah, to be back in power. Under him, King David, the rest of the 12, the 144, right? The new governed body of this world to, be, uh, world to come, man. All right. So let's go ahead and get some scriptures. This is our Syrite 10 in verse 1 class of scripture. A wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. And as we see how Esau Edom is ruling, ruling the nations, man, he is not a prudent man. As the scriptures say, there's no wisdom in teaming. The Lord has taken away this man's wisdom, man. You know, here it is. Transformers are put up as the women of the year, you know, as beauty. All right. Uh, here it is. Uh, Dr. F has been exposed that, uh, you know, all those rules and regulations were just lies, you know, to pretty much uh, uh, take a lot of people out, send them to the spiritual realm. You know, this this man is not meant for power, man. This is verse two. As a judge of the people is a hey, hey, matter of fact, matter of fact, Salak, yeah, before I get into this scripture. Because I, I, I was out earlier Because I'm out of town at the moment I was out earlier And uh, I don't know if it was Jake Or Edomite I couldn't see But uh, yeah, hey, you had this person Say that uh, the big noses The issues hey, They hands You know he was uh, out there With the microphone And he said his, And he said Those big noses Their hands are all over 9-11 and you do your research of what that man was talking about. Most certainly, man. Apostles and elders and brothers on down have already brought out the information. You know, like a quick, quick one. You know, before all that happened, they told all the big noses not to come into work that day, man. <laughs> you know, you know, so all that all that was planned. They even um, if I'm not mistaken, they even told you that. You know, this war was planned, you know, not, you know, 
all this stuff was playing, man. You know, goes to show you, once again, this man is not set up for rulership, man. He is not a prudent, he is not a righteous king. All right? He's a false accuser. All right? It's verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what matter a man, the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. All right? So if the wicked... It's so like if the wicked is in rulership, the people are going to be wicked. If the righteous are in rulership, the people are going to uh, move more righteously. Right? It's verse 3. Our unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. You see that? So an unwise king destroys his people. You know, this man is such a, a, a wicked man. That uh, he kills his own people to try to get to us. You know, he poisons the water, poisons the air, poisons the food supply just to get uh, uh, Jake out, man. And and this man is not a wise man because, you know, you put all that stress upon Jake. You know, you after you after Jake. And as you read in. Um, in uh, the book of Genesis. Of us, you know, I'm not going to get it right now, brother. If any brother want to get it, post it on the comment board. They can. But, uh, you know, the more rigorous labor they put upon us. All these uh, atrocities that, have, that they have done upon us, you know, actually made us <laughs> made us stronger. And had us to where, uh, you know, hey, more and more Jakes was on the earth, man. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, this is verse four. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord and in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And that's what we're waiting for, man. One that is profitable. All right. Our big brother, Yahweh Shah, being back in his power seat. All right. Let's see. I already got that. This is. um. Ecclesiastes 10 to verse 5. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an error which proceedeth from the ruler. All right. And you got a lot of these people up in their pride. A lot of these people thinking that they can, you know, they have that do with thy will spirit upon them, man. But it's all good because the Lord going to straighten these people out. And that's why we out there on the highways and byways doing our lessons as well. Warning Warning our people, hey, you keep moving like these heathens, you're going to die like these heathens, man. All right. So once again, going back to it, hey, if the wicked is in power, the people are going to move wickedly. If the righteous are in power, the people are going to move righteously. All right. So we're waiting, as I just read in. Um, read in uh, Sirach 10 and verse four. All right. The Lord, you know, in due time, the Lord is going to set over one that's profitable. Let's talk about our brother, a big brother, Yahweh Shah, man. All right. A righteous governed body. OK. Matter of fact, I meant to get this too in, uh, in the book of Sirach 10. It's a Sirach 10 in verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. All right. So once again, uh, another another showing you showing that this man is not set up for rulership, man, for righteous rulership, because it's all this man does is rape, rob and murder. And now he doesn't even have to use a sword. The new sword is a pen. He writes unrighteous uh, uh, laws and decrees. And even his unrighteous laws and decrees, he doesn't even abide by them. All right. You know, if I'm not mistaken, we was going into a camp. You know, your word, your word is born, man. Especially back then, your word is born. And even recently, all these treaties, you know, just just the track record in general of Esau Edom showing you that his word is not born. Right. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and verse six, six. 
folly is set in great dignity. All right, folly is is set in in high, you know in the high high estate in this wicked ass kingdom, man. They they praise it, man. And the rich sit in low place. Who's the rich? That's us, the Israelites, man. Because everything is out of order. It's set up for you to fail here. All right. And even if you quote unquote so called winning, you you still ain't winning, man. All right. This man is still over you. You notice a lot of times, you know, when Jake gets in power, he can't do, he can't help his people, man. You know, just a quick example, you know, the mayor of Chicago, man, they tearing his ass up. You know why? Because you can't do what you want, man. You can't help your people. It's not set. It's not set up. For, uh, this kingdom is not set up for that. Let's see. Uh, verse seven. I have seen servants. Who's the servants? As he saw Edom and other nations as well upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. All right. We're walking as servants. And the servants are walking as kings here, man. So in due time, the Lord is going to reverse reverse our situation, man. We're going to switch lives. We're going switch, to switch places, man. We're going to be on top. They're going to be on bottom. All right. And this is uh, Sarah, uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 16. Woe, all right. Woe meaning destruction to the land. It's like a woe to thee. O land, where thy king is a child and thy princes eat in the morning, right? So once again, showing you a clear, showing, showing that this man is a child, man. This man, it's not a proper, profitable, and he's not a very smart man, right? He he moves like a child. He has tinted tantrums, right? And eventually, he's really going to show his hand by coming after us. But it's all good. It's all good. And I got uh, the same scripture in the New Living Trans Translation. I like how they word it right here. What sorrow for the land ruled by its servant. All right. And we just read in uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. All right. How the servants... Are the kings now they're upon horses all right and we the princes the kings are servants upon the earth so a servant is in power all right let's read that again what sorrow for the land ruled by a servant the land whose leader feast leaders feast in the morning all right so this man, you know, he, he's been given everything, the milk and honey, the whole cow. <laughs> and he still wants more. He wants to be like the most high. That's why he's implementing. Matter of fact, uh, I saw uh, the, the swab, if I'm not mistaken, earlier today, talking about they should implement AI. You know, this world should be uh, AI driven. And they also talking about uh <laughs> man if i remember it right which i had the article in front of me but um talking about you should barely wash your clothes wash yourself they want you they want you to eat bugs <laughs> you know all types of madness man all types of madness showing you that this man is, is, is not set up it's like he is set up to rule right now but and his kingdom is not set up to uh, be prosperous. That's how, That's what I should say. It's not set up to be a very prosperous kingdom. It's set up to be prosperous for him, but for the whole people, for the everybody, and even the heathens, it's not set up to be prosperous out here. All right? But it's, because it's governed by wickedness. And the Lord is about to put a stop to that. As we read right here, 2 Thessalonians 1 and verse 6, seeing it is a righteous thing with power to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. You see that? And so all this man, you look at this man's track record, he troubled you. And just as uh, one of my drawings up here with, with the Edomites in chains, 
they're going to be troubled. They're going to be put in the chains. They're going to endure slavery, right? It's Jeremiah 4, uh, Slagia. This is Jeremiah 24, verse 9. I would deliver them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth for their hurt, all right? Because we, we hurting out here, man. They still got us down at the bottom still to this very day to be a reproach and a proverb a taunt and a curse in all the places where I was driven though. All right. You see, still to this very day, we're, we're a reproach, we're a proverb. All right. We're, we're, we're enduring curses, but the Lord is going to, the Lord is going to deliver us. The Lord is going to give us praise and fame and the name pay praise and fame everywhere in which we were driven from. All right. This is Deuteronomy 28 and verse 65. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. All right. We felt we felt no ease, man. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart and friendly eyes and sorrow of mind. And that's a curse, man. That's what the Lord did unto us, man. We had no rest. We was in fear all the days. But the Lord is about to reverse that and send that to our enemies, man. As I read in uh, Jeremiah 23 and verse 3. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I will drive them. And I will bring them again into their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. That's what's going to happen. We're going to be very, very prosperous. We can't be prosperous with this man Esau Edom being in power. And I will set shepherds over them. which shall feed them and they shall Fear no more, nor be, be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah. Behold, days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and the king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. You see that? So, we, hey, we waiting for our big brother Yahweh Shah to be in power, waiting for our big brother uh, David, right, our king David. To be back in the, in his power seat as well, All right? And it's gonna be a very righteous and prosperous kingdom. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. A both halves are gonna be brought together. All right, we're gonna be known as one nation again. All right, and this in his name, whereby he shall be called Yahweh, our righteousness. Therefore, therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, because that happened in the past. All right? So, what we read right here, getting ahead of myself, is the new Passover. All right? So, check it, verse 8. But Yahweh, Bashem Yahushah, liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all the countries where I have driven them and they shall dwell in their own land. The new Passover. This is what we're waiting for, man. So let's get these last scriptures and go ahead and close out. This is uh, Psalm 2 and 8. Love these scriptures right here. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. You know, going to the picture that I drew. All right, pretty much re ramp because I did it like years ago. And I uh, pretty much re-edited it <laughs> and redrew on it, you know, made it a little better. All right. But uh, the heathens are going to be our inheritance. They're going to be working for us instead of us working for them. And the animals parts of the earth for thy possessions. You know, we're going to have the beautiful parts of the earth. Matter of fact, the Lord has in store for us other planets to dwell upon. All right. Because from the least to the greatest is a light. They're going to be kings, man. All right. <laughs> thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them to pieces like a potter's vessels. Didn't they do that to us? Rick and Pence just read that in uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and verse 6, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Rick and Pence. Be wise, therefore, 
Yeah, let me read that again. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. All right, take heed to this word. Sir, the Lord, Yahweh Bashimel Shah, with fear and rejoice with trembling. Because when you're doing that, you're, you're, you're mindful of your steps. You're mindful of what you say. You're mindful on how you treat your brothers. All right. You're not treating your brothers uh, uh, wickedly, man. Right. You're not getting over your brothers. You're, you're walking as you should, trying to please Yahweh Bashimel Shah so you can make it. All right. Kiss the sun, you know, as I just got through explaining, it's talking about giving reverence, respecting the sun. These he be angry and ye perish in the way. You don't want that, man. Where you out here dying with the heathen, dying the heathen's death. When his wrath is kindled, but a little bless are all they that put their trust in him. You put your, put your trust in him. You're going to be joint heirs with him, man. All right. So, yeah, all right. This is an edifying lesson. Shalom.